so the most important thing which they look for in emergency medicine applicant is the slow e s l o e which is standard letter of evaluation so that is the most most important thing for matching into emergency medicine if you have, even if you have uh, average scores or low scores and you have a really good slow e that will be um, then you will be an amazing applicant I will um, first of all thank you so much for having me over here. Um, so hello everyone. Uh, I'm Akash Gupta. I matched in uh, Trinity Health Livonia in Emergency Medicine Department, and uh, in total number of interviews which I got in Emergency Medicine was eleven. And um, so the most important thing which they look for in Emergency Medicine applicant is the slow e. S L O E, which is standard letter of evaluation. So that is the most most important thing for matching into emergency medicine. If you even if you have uh, average scores or low scores, and you have a really good slow E, that will be um, then you will be an amazing applicant. Um, so the thing is, there are different types of slow E. The best one is the E slow E. E standard letter of evaluation. That slow E is basically where the residency is available so if you get that uh, externship over there where residency program like emergency medicine residency program is there that will be the best ones um apart from east loy if you if you can't get it it's very difficult to get it i never had a east loy but uh, i had two sloys so what is the other sloy it is um it's a standard letter of evaluation but um, it is where there is no uh, emergency medicine residency so that is just plain slowy so try to get two of those so i got it from um, uh, one of them at the lorato hospital um, i um, approached sarthi for the rotation in emergency medicine and um, other one i got it from urgent care but he was an emergency medicine physician as well so i got a two slowy if you have two slowy if it for sure um uh what i can say improve your application a lot and mean most of the programs are i can say more than 99% of almost 99% of the programs will look for at least one slowy in your application if you don't have it um, most likely you won't get any interviews um so apart from um slowy um i believe uh, your um communication skills of course your interviewing skills are also very important and um scores yeah if you have 250s to 60s that will um, obviously give you an advantage to match into a really good program and if you are focusing on maybe university program which is very difficult i know one of the non us img who matched in a university program in emed um so she had a lot of research papers as well so it's possible um so this year the rate was just i guess 4% around 125 or 130 something as far as i remember 123 p non us img just matched into non us uh, in emergency medicine so it's difficult but uh, i truly believe it's possible so so, uh, so akash uh, uh, questions on slowy of course you don't need it for im etc some people are asking so what of what is the score range uh, you don't have to say your scores but what would be a score range where uh, a visa seeking img can be reasonably confident of getting some interviews in emergency medicine so if you want to match then i would suggest that above average should be good, en good enough like about 240s 250 should be good enough but i know people who have got interviews in 220s and 230s range as well one of my friend have matched with that scores um so it's still possible but um, he had a slow e as well two slow e's as well so more than scores that's what i said slow e is, is more important okay and uh, does the home country experience also matter so some people have experiences in emergency medicine in home country is does that matter at all or is it only the us clinical experience with slow e's um i believe us clinical experience matters the most because they need the slowy from the uh, us hospital specifically the, uh, if you have the e slowy that will be the best ones okay and in terms of the interviews you know what kind of questions and what do they look for as they are interviewing you um sure um so so most of the co common question is the same why emed why this program tell me about yourself and all this is common 
Um, so what they generally um, see is whether you are truly passionate about emergency medicine. So now what has happened, if you have seen the trends, uh, the number of applications suddenly reduced. But this year, it, it, it rebounded back to more than 30%. It rebounded. So, so we had a lot of, uh, especially the DOs uh, got increased. And IMGs, I think so around 600 people, non-US IMGs um, applied for for the med um, application. So um, I believe that, um, um, so, sorry, I missed the last part of your question, which I had to no, I, I said, are there any specific questions in EMED that, uh, you know, uh, programs like to ask? Um, most of them are the basic ones. Uh, other than that would be, uh, what is your favorite procedure? Tell me about your, any EMED experience which you had, um, in the US or in your home country. Um, then uh, uh, about hobbies, they ask a lot. Um, so I connected my hobby related to emergency medicine. So they asked that a lot. So 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 that was like almost in every interview, they used to ask me that question and they, they liked my answer uh, related to that. Um, so so I, it's, it's a, a thing that emergency medicine are the people who who have a sort of ADHD kind of they like they like cycling, mountain biking, and all those adventurous things. Uh, but I related it to chess, which I play, and they, they really like my answer about that. Um, so they they check the passion about emergency medicine uh, because now most of the people are just applying for you know backup specialty since they saw the trend. But uh, even they are smart enough to catch catch the people who are actually applying for a backup. Uh, or who are genuinely interested in email. So, so um, I would suggest that um, just uh, make sure that you are thorough with all the common questions and uh, why email specifically and why this program. This is like the, the, every program is going to ask that question. So the last question, which I think you just touched on and is very important because we get a lot of uh, requests, you know, last minute in SOAP, Oh my God, can I apply to EMED? I see so many spots, et cetera. And, you know, just as a backup and all. So what do you recommend to someone who's really passionate about emergency medicine? How do they start now if they have to apply for the 2025 match? Sure. Um, so a couple of things. Um, so number of, number of, first thing, look for very strong externship or hands-on experience. That is the number one thing and get slowly. It's at least too slowly. That is very important. Um, so try to do a uh, program outreach as Cal Kelvin already mentioned that try to email the programs. Um, so 99% um, programs won't even give you any offers related to that. So, um, so you have to um, speak to, um, uh, um, Sati team, so they have one rotation at Loretta Hospital uh, related to emergency medicine. I would recommend that uh, um, to do that rotation and get a slowy and um, and um, apart from um, slowy, um, I believe uh, just just make a good connection with as many people as possible go in linkedin just just randomly uh message them that i'm interested in so and so and i, I sent a lot of emails in the month of june july it's, it's almost to every programs that i'm interested in a program i'm looking for externship or observership opportunity at your program so a couple of them uh wrote my name and said that okay we'll look into your application so so i think so that also helped me to grab a couple of more interviews yeah uh i think there is a question last question i promise uh, how is slow different from a typical LOR? Sure. Um, so LOR is basically um, the doctor. It's it's like a letter, right? So letter of recommendation. So it, it will be like passages. The doctor will recommend you will rely, uh, write the all the qualities and everything. Um, st uh, SLOE is uh, you get on the website called as Cordem, C-O-R-D-E-M. And you have to go there. Um, so you have to get the template. So there are different types of slowy, O slowy, E slowy, and the normal slowy. And um, uh, the preceptor, uh, the attending would already know what a slowy is. And you can just ask him to fill a slowy where it will be. It will be like uh, if you have uh, filled a, like a mini CX form for your clinical evaluations, where there is a marking number one from one to five. So he's go the preceptor is going to evaluate to you accordingly, like how well your clinical skills were, how how knowledgeable you were. So that is basically a slowy. 
So you don't need a separate LOR. You just need a slow if from one rotation or you need both. Um, so, so I will tell what I had. So I had four letters, all four were from emergency medicine physicians. So out of that two were slow. -y. One was, um, letter of recommendation from where I did my, um, uh, uh, what I could say med school. So I did it in Caribbean. So that's where I did my emergency medicine rotation. So that was, I could say outside us LOR. And the fourth one, LOR, was from a um, research director. He was into emergency medicine department. So all four were from emergency medicine physicians, but two slowly and two LOR. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much, Akash. Much appreciate and congratulations on uh, being a path bearer. I mean, emergency medicine as a visa-seeking applicant is a uh, very, very tough uh, match. So congratulations. Uh, your your hard work really paid off. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for your whole team as well. Uh, you guys helped me a lot in everything, mock interviews, PS editing, ERC, CV editing, and especially the rotation setup. So that, that also really helped. And especially the idea about uh, the program outreach and everything, I believe that really helped me to get a couple of more interviews. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that video provided valuable insights for your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our website for details on how we can guide you to a successful match.